Hello everyone. This is Grade 6, Module 4, Lesson 11, Problem Set. So let's take a look at uh, Problem Set 1. And we see it says, use models to prove that 3, in parentheses, A plus B, is equivalent to 3A plus 3B. So I'm going to do two different models for this one. I'll do the first one, uh, 3, and then in parentheses, A plus B. So uh, I'm going to draw one here and put an A and a B. So that's A plus B. And I see that my 3 out here tells me i got to do it three times. So now I want to take a look at this part of it and it says 3A plus 3B. So I'm going to do 3a and each of these little ones I'm trying to do it the best I can is a and then 3b this is plus so I'm going to attach it to it and that's going to be b's inside of those I'll try to write my a's inside of those as well so we have to prove that they are, these are equivalent. So if I count these, um, for this first one, I have 1A, 2, 3. So there's three A's here. If I look over at my second um, expression in blue, I have 1, 2, 3. So those are equivalent because we don't know what A equals, but we do know that A equals A. So there's three A's over here. And there's three A's over here. Now if we count the B's, I have one, two, three. And over here I have one, two, three. So there's three B's. So uh, this one in red, it's A plus B plus A plus B plus A plus B. The one in blue is A plus A plus A plus B plus B plus B. And because of the commutative property, uh, it states that the order for an addition or multiplication uh, sequence it won't change um, the outcome, so order doesn't really matter for it. So that's why they're equivalent. So let's take a look down at number two. And we're going to look first at uh, A. And it's 4D plus 12E. And we see that our uh, directions say use greatest common factor in the distributive property to write equivalent expressions in factored form for the following expressions. Um, and what we have to do uh, is we're going to go to factored form. So I have to figure out the uh, all the factors and stretch it out for 4D. Um, I'm going to show all the work off to the side. So 4, if I did uh, prime factorization, I know that it's 2 and 2, and I'm going to circle all my prime numbers. Uh, so I have 2 and 2. Now if I... Uh, go over and I take a look at 12, uh, I'm going to pick any two factors of 12. I'll do 4 and 3, but any two factors of 12 will get you eventually to your prime numbers. I know 3 is prime, and I can break the 4 into 2 and 2. So now I'm going to rewrite um, my expression using the factors. So 2 times 2 times D, that takes the place of 4D, plus 2 times 2 times 3 times E. And the reason why I did that is I took only the prime numbers, because 2 times 2 times 3 does equal 12, and 2 times 2 does equal 4. Now, what I'm going to do, since this is factor 4, I'm going to try to pull uh, my greatest common factor from this using the distributive property. Uh, I see that they share a 2, so they share 1, 2, and they share a second 2. And we know that sharing two uh, number 2s is going to be the same as 4. So that's going to be my number on the outside. The greatest common factor is the number that goes on the outside of the parentheses, because then we can distribute this in. Now, whatever's left over... I'm going to combine like terms, so numbers and letters, and 
uh, put it into the expression. So I have D, there's nothing to combine with it, because there's no other Ds, plus 3, and there's no other numbers to uh, multiply it by or add it to, and then E. So my number or my expression here is 4, and then in parentheses, D plus 3E. And you can have a 1 in this place right here if you want to, because uh, D by itself is 1D, or you could put a 1 there for it. So either one is good. So we'll take a real quick uh, look um, at letter C. 21A plus 28Y, and I'm going to do the same thing. 21 and 28, and I know 21 is 3 times 7, and those are my prime numbers. 28 is 4 and 7, and i got to break my 4 apart to get my prime numbers. So once I have prime numbers, I'm going to put those back into my expression. So 21 is 3 times 7 times a plus 2 times 2 times 7 times y. Because again, we're doing the prime numbers because when we multiply those, 2 times 2 times 7 will get our 28. Now find what's common between them, and I see that both sides share a 7. So that stays on the outside of my parentheses, because that's the co greatest common factor. And now I'm going to put it back into uh, distributive form. So 3a, or 3 times a, plus I have 2, 2, and y, and I can combine these two these twos right here with multiplication because that's what this uh, dot in the middle is. 2 times 2 is 4 and then I'll keep the y. So that's how um, I'm taking it with greatest common factor in the distributive property to write an equivalent expressions in factored form. Uh, hope this helps and good luck on your problem set.